The process of natural selection occurs when organisms with the best adaptation survive to produce offspring. Natural selection cannot occur unless a population contains inherited variations. This means there must be different versions of genes that produce a variety of phenotypes in the population. In order for one adaptation to be better than another, the adaptations must first be different. Different versions of a gene, called alleles, can make organisms more adapted to the environment. However, new alleles are created randomly through mutations. Remember, only mutations that occur in gamete cells are passed on to the organism's offspring. Notice in this example that neither parent has a gene that makes them brown, but that gene appears in one of the offspring. That's because the mutation that created that allele occurred in one of the gamete cells that went on to produce that offspring. If a mutation produces a beneficial allele, it will help organisms survive to reproduce. If the mutation creates a harmful allele, that trait will be selected against. That means that those organisms with the harmful allele are more likely to die before they reproduce. When mutations introduce beneficial alleles into a population, the frequency of the allele will increase in the population. This causes a change in the population of the species. In our example, a random mutation created a brown allele in this population. But since this allele makes it easier for the insects to survive, the frequency of that allele increased in this population. Notice that in the picture to the right, more of the insects are brown than green because that allele helped them survive and reproduce. It is the inherited variation that was created by the mutation that allowed natural selection to work on this population.